We've had enough of a war-based industrial agriculture system. We're happy to be here today. We've got uh, some excellent uh, speakers. We, we feel like we're at the phase now where we're introducing this basic concept, which is that we're, as we all know, we're heading to catastrophe uh, if we follow the path of business as usual. And today on World Food Day, we uh, find that over 800 million people right now on this planet are food insecure. Ladies and gentlemen, using synthetic nitrogen fertilizer creates a feeding frenzy that is artificial and dangerous. We need to improve the way we assess any development project for agriculture in the world, taking into account the carbon storage level in this soil. Just by changing grazing, we can stop global warming. So we can fix it, it's under our feet, we know that we can fix it, we've got the solution. Using regenerative soil management techniques to sequester carbon in the earth. And taking care of soil, takes care of our health, takes care of our climate, takes care of our economies. We clearly have a system now that has contributed to the climate global warming. We need people to support regenerative organic farming and they'll do that by what they choose to purchase and what they choose to eat. This is peer-reviewed science from the Rodale Institute where we start return, actively returning the carbon back in the soil as compost. Our solutions have to be radically different. We have to make the great U-turn. Don't ever take another bite of factory farm food. And the really the biggest problem in climate change is agriculture. And the answer to that is really in regenerative organic farming. Even though it's a very big task, we have it in our hands. Each of us can make the shift. And I know all of you who've gathered in Washington for World Food Day are going to renew your commitment for regeneration. Together, we will put aside the degenerative system because the world is just waiting to burst forth in joy, happiness, beauty, and diversity. Let's celebrate.